Well, hello, it is Sarah Jane from <laughs> Access Your True Nature, and yes, better late than ever, here I go with your weekly spiritual forecast from Animals as Messengers, and we are looking at the week of March 11th to 17th, the momentum is continuing as we head into the perpetuation of consciousness that's urging all of us to really get clear on what we are here to create. Hi Jennifer, good to see you here. Um, and the first card that came up today is Owl. And I love Owl. Owl is one of my uh, totems, it's one of my spiritual teachers. And Owl is a beautiful totem because he is saying it is time that you stop the illusion of all the suffering that you are creating your life with. Hi, 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 Angel and Rachel. Good to see you here. Um, so we're looking to Owl this week, who is asking you to really see clearly, because the wisdom within you is informed by your keen senses and within everything that you see, the consciousness that we are, that we all share, even in the dark, Al sees very, very clearly. So be guided by every sense that is available to you to really trust your sensitivities and pay attention to what is invisible to you, right? Things are in the blind. We, we talk about blind spots, about um, looking into the shadows as the gift of everything that is allowing us to create from this space. And you cannot do that if you're not trusting your gut. So pay attention to what is perhaps invisible to you, to your naked eye, so that you can really, really receive what is available to you and let your intuition guide you. What are your sensing? What are you sensing right now in the whole picture? So this might be a time for you to widen your perspective and really see the truth very clearly. Ground into the truth if you're feeling overwhelmed right now. And the second animal that is showing up for us this week is giraffe. And I love the long-legged blondes of Africa um, because they have this beautiful long neck that is saying, stretch yourself, go beyond your comfort zones and see the big picture. You need to stretch beyond your comfort zone and widen your perspective. See the big picture, stretch yourself so that you can actually gain the new perspective and don't stick your neck out too far. So all you sensitives, all you empaths that are always trying to, to heal and um, be everything to everyone, all your people pleasers out there. This is really a message to you to really look at where perspective is needed. What can you do right now to align yourself with your highest good? Because transformation begins where you are. Do your part and remember that you're playing a very intrinsic, important role in weaving the fabric of who you are, how you're showing up, what you take a stand for, so that transformation begins with you. So really feel into that. Stretch yourself out of your comfort zone and, and trust that you're exactly where you need to be right now. The next card that I've pulled is Moth. And I love Moth. He's been showing up a lot right now. And he's often one of those... Um, animal medicines that are overlooked because we'd rather be the butterfly than the moth. And moth is always seeking the light. So moth medicine this week is really saying to you, surrender now. Look at what is guiding you. Are you in alignment with your spirit or are you pushing yourself into a place of misalignment to perceive your pursuit of happiness? So reevaluate what makes you happy. Stop beating yourself up um, and really look at the, at the heart of who you are in the I am presence. Take time to rest. Moth is such a beautiful 
antidote to overdoing and overgiving. Take time to really look at where you are uh, because you may have gone over the edge in that relentless pursuit of happiness or, or what you perceive as success. So remember, the fire burns hot. You all, you all know when you've watched a moth, he's always drawn to the light. And in that, he burns out. He goes into the death cycle. So this is really a time to let go and surrender to radical acceptance, to knowing that you are enough. So release the need for certainty and predictability. You don't want balance. You want peacefulness. So really listen to me when I say that from the medicine of moth, that you're not looking for the light. You are the light. And when you acknowledge that you are, the peacefulness comes. So stop the shoulds and the musts and the should have, could have, would have and the regret because moth medicine is really intense if you start to look at you and all your obsessive, compulsive, addicted personalities and tendencies, be really honest um, and compassionate with yourself as you start to practice emotional sobriety. Look at where you need to bring in moderation and then all the things that, that are calling you. Um, because remember, when there's, there's um, this, this medicine of moving forward, the light comes to you because you are the light. That's all you have to be, nothing to hide, nothing to prove. But in truth, you're heading into a fire that will cause burnout if you're not in balance, if you're not in alignment, if you're not in peacefulness, you go back into the suffering. You, you leave the beautiful life and you go into suffering. So a great question this week is to ask, why are you so resistant to letting go? And what are you avoiding in the difficult emotions where you need to feel so that you can heal and release everything that's no longer serving you? Now is the time to do a very fearless inventory and really look at the addiction, the addiction to please, the addiction to the likes on Facebook, the addiction, the addiction to all the places where you go out of alignment with yourself and really go back into that peaceful state of knowing that you are the calm, you are the presence. Because from that space, that's where you can be transmuted into everything that you want, the enthusiasm and the aligned action that is preparing you to go forward in your life. So listen to Moth that's saying to you, what change is needed to support your well-being? And if you're not showing up, hi, Deirdre, hi, Rachel, if you're not in that alignment with yourself, if you're not congruent to what is calling you from your true divine nature, you need to know that it's time to let go of attachment. It's time to let go of the need to control. Control all the outcomes, control how things show up, and just allow yourself to remember who you are. Remember in your heart space, that there are many, many ways that you can future your energy to self-care and relationships to others. If you're not taking care of yourself, you can't take care of others. You can't show up and share your gifts in the world. And you can't hold yourself sacred. And this is so beautiful because I love how these cards show up today. And I think Beaver showed up last week as well. He's making his appearance again Really, really listen to what Beaver Medicine has to offer you where he's saying, show up again in action to take this week. You have to lay solid foundations. You have to cut away the dead wood and really reevaluate what you stand for because everything is the opposite of what it appears to be and nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. And I'll say that again because this is something that really plays with your ego, with which is what wants to control your life and wants to control the outcome. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be and nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. So do the work this week. Establish the sacred connection that you have with the universal consciousness so that you can deliberately co-create the world that you desire. 
Remember, you have gifts that no one else has, and we need you to show up and stand in your truth and do the work to, do, to get really honest with yourself and look at what do you stand for. Don't believe, because belief is kind of one of those things that you can believe something, but if you don't decide, if you don't commit, if you're not determined to put your energy and your effort into co-creating with the universal laws of abundance, of love, of uh, transmutation, nothing changes. So it is time to lay those solid foundations for your dreams and your greatness because your world will be prosperous and purposeful if you fully show up and decide that you're going to lead from love and generosity of spirit and joy. That's the richness and the magic and the meaning making. And that which you desire will come to you and it will remain. It'll sustain you if you build on a very sturdy, strong foundation. So keep your intention and your energy consistent this week and be very, very deliberate in how you're using your energy, using your resources to get aligned and then take the action. Be responsible. Respond to what you are able to shift, change, transmute and transmigrate that's going to create a brilliant future. So this is the time to check for rotten wood in the foundation of your dreams. You can't build on faulty foundations. And I, I love that Beaver showed up again because it's really telling you that now is the time to cut the dead wood. If you need to rebuild, if you need to burn your, your foundations, your beliefs, your ideas of what you think your life needs to look like, burn it to the ground and then gather the sticks and the wood and the the cushioning to build yourself a beautiful nest. Make your decisions from an empowered place of worthiness and self-love. This is not the time to make excuses or go into the victimology of, I can't, I shouldn't, I, it, it's not for me, I'm, I'm not worthy. Make room for something greater by letting go of the rot. And that means people and projections and situations and attachments to things that you think are keep keeping you safe. Remember, all miracles from, come from the new strong foundations that are built in collaboration with the divine. The divine is there, but you have to be willing to receive. So get busy now, not from the distraction of busyness, but really from an intentional co-creation with the universe, because this is the time to start building again. So be mindful of the foundations that you're laying, and trust that spirit is co-creating with you because that's what it is. It's, it's time. It's time to take stock. It's time to rest and to really look at what do you have to lose? You know, so many clients of, of mine this week have been saying that they're afraid to let go of what's no longer working for them because it's predictable. It's something that, that they're used to. So what have you got to lose? And what have you got to gain? Because without gain, what is there to lose? <laughs> you know, this is, this is where our mind plays trick, tricks with us because if you're like watching your bank account, for example, you can't spend because there's a downward spiral or, or worse, there's something to lose. And, and I'm, I've been traveling for four months. I've seen the bank, my bank account um, dwindle. And I am in appreciation every day, even though there are moments of fear in there, that everything that I am contributing, everything I'm investing in, in this walkabout, in this rite of passage that I'm on, is making me greater than I was before I set out on this journey. And I want that for you. So remember, the cosmic joke is that if you lose it all, you open up to a whole new field of reality and you start growing again. And then... When you are able to see it leave in regards to money or people or relationships, you're opening yourself up to receiving. It's one of the greatest sufferings of the world is that we're not willing to receive what is so readily available to us. And remember, happiness is a relationship with renewal and decay, right? It's the death and the rebirth. This is the feeding cycle 
of the five elements of Chinese medicine that I practice and that I teach. Happiness is the relationship that you have with yourself in the non-attachment of things need to die, things need to be burnt to the ground, to make fertilizer from the ashes for you to build and grow again. So if you're brave enough to understand flow, then you can stay open from that place of love and from that place of loving yourself, even when you don't know what's going on, that you can just move forward until you get it. So stay rooted. This is the medicine of all these beautiful animals, of owl, of giraffe, of moth, and of beaver this week, is to keep moving forward, even though you can't see what it is. Know that you are worthy of something greater. And when you're acting out of a place of patience and you're breathing in life with every breath in and every breath out, everything that you no longer want leaves you because you're not attached to it. It's just the cycle of life. And it's in this contrast of really asking yourself, am I open to receive new, new things, new people, new ideas, new co-creations as equally open when things come and things go. And I think the most important thing here is to remember that you need to respect all of it so that it can change and it's changing you for the better. So don't get shut down this week. This is not a time for inertia. This is not a time for stagnation. This is the time of aligned action. And even when things show up that you don't like, every, even when things show up that are feeling, feeling of uh, abandonment or hurt or, or things that make you feel bad, respect what happens when you trust that you're, everything that's coming to you in the betrayal, in the hurt, in the lack of trust is making you a better person, even though it's painful. So remember, true grief, right? Allowing yourself to grieve, giving grief a sound. And then acknowledging that grief is there in the regret that you're not appreciating, appreciating what, is, what has come and what has gone that has made you a better person. I always say this, live well so that you can die well. It's the vibration of loving what it what was and letting it go, minute by minute, lifetime by lifetime. Everything that is coming to you right now, even if it's painful, is there to grow you. And all those places where who you become in relationships with others is getting stronger. And if you can just allow yourself to live on the edge of death, as that zero point field of dying where rebirth awaits you, then you're going to grow in the death of your limitations because the only thing you fear is the death of everything that you believe to be true that actually isn't. So remember that where rebirth awaits you, your ego wants to control how things happen. And then we get into resistance. And when we're resisting, that's when we get depressed, right? Instead of looking at how your body is responding to the places that you are putting the brakes on where you actually just need to let it all fall apart so that your body can take time to tear, have deep rest. It's saying, prepare to awaken. So can you this week be willing to love everything that is showing up and not need to be afraid of it there is no regret because you're willing to receive and something that's very relevant in my life right now is be willing to leave the relationships that are no longer no longer a kindness to you thank the person for leaving or leaving them because they have made you better than when you first met them and my dear friend um, Matthew talked about the, that this week that him and his wife were able to thank each other and leave the relationship better than when they first met. 
And I love that because what is, what is actually a threat to your life from the way things aren't, that's a beautiful place to be because if you're not a threat to yourself, where is the threat? Why are you waiting to go to war to defend against the illusion of a way of being, the way that things are not showing up? It's only an illusion. It's the suffering that you create in the stories that you make up in your mind. So why do you need to fight yourself? What if you could love yourself into being and love all that there is and know that it's just a way, it's just the way that things are? Let the truth of your life come in. Receive that. Be open to that. Because when you do, then you can have an honest, aligned relationship with pain as the pathway. I speak about this often. And if you haven't heard that, you can look at look on the YouTube on my YouTube channel where I talk about the pathway of pain as being the greatest gift of you and your reality right now. Because pain is showing you how to respect the relationship with life that you are having. Pain shows us our relationship with pain. And it's an intimate relationship, right? You're saying, pain, have at me. Into me, see. That's what intimacy is. And when you can own and acknowledge that, then things that things can go away. In that beautiful space of receiving that you're done, right? You've received it, you've honored it, you've acknowledged it, and you are able to let it go. Because that's what makes us better when we can allow ourselves to love the child part that is afraid of being greater than you were yesterday. So my musings for this week, um, my medicine, um, through the, the honoring, I'm, of owl and giraffe and moth and beaver. Be the greatest version of yourself. Trust that you're enough. Stretch yourself. Extend yourself out of the comfort zone of where you are right now. Just allow yourself to be in that space of knowing that you have nothing to lose. It's just an illusion that you think that you are going to lose yourself, that the death of the old story actually means the death of you. That's not true. Oh, Deirdre, thank you. I love showing up, and I, it's an honor to serve you. But allow the things that no longer serve you to fall away. Trust your gut. That is the wisdom of our medicine, is to see the things that you couldn't see in the dark, that are, be, are, are shining up. That are, are coming up into the light of who you are right now and extend yourself out of the illusion of the old comfort zone that actually isn't comfortable anymore what is the worst thing that can happen right now what if you could actually appreciate through the medicine of moth that burns itself up looking for the light to actually own and acknowledge that the light has always been within you and it is time to shine my friends it's time to shine so build your foundation from the solid wood that is available your resources are there use them well as we move into and prepare ourselves for the, the spring equinox and this beautiful portal of the 21-3 energy, the 3-3 three, three energy that is showing up. That you can access your intuition, that you can trust your gut. And that you can start laying foundations based on truth and integrity and this new vibration of love. The new currency, the new um, money vibration is based in love. And it starts with you. As my dear friend Sean Stevenson said on the weekend, don't be so selfish that you're not showing up because the world is waiting for you and what only you have to give to the world. So go, be great, own your greatness, decide, right? Don't, don't do anything other than decide. Belief is a belief. Don't believe that you can do it. Decide, commit to taking a stand for what you are creating in the world and let 
the life force co create within you toward the things that matter and move you. Because we need people like you that care, care about themselves enough that we can go on and create a space that hurt people no longer hurt other beings. That's your gift, and we're in this together. So be great, be amazing, own your brilliant life, future it out, imagine it as if it has already happened, and stay deeply, deeply rooted in your truth. And I'll meet you there. I love you. Have a beautiful week. Thanking Owl, thanking Giraffe, thanking Moth, thanking Beaver for showing up to hold the space of infinite possibilities this week. It's time to get out of the suffering. It's time to stop telling the story of trauma, of drama, of emergency, and emerge as the sovereign being that is so deeply rooted on the solid foundations of your truth that you go out and be the change that you are waiting for. You are the change. Own it, choose it, and commit to it. I see you, I honor you, and I love you. Have a beautiful, beautiful week. And share this comments, questions, insights. Um, come from a place of generosity. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Um, we're just finishing up. Uh, Please go back, listen to the replay. Um, there's good soul medicine um, for, for you this week from, from Animals as Messengers. Um, Al is asking you to take flight, to spread, spread the word. You know, the winged ones are really here to spread what's going on in, in the human realms across, across the continents. And Al is all about wisdom. Own your wise woman or wise man within and go forth and share your gifts with others because now is not the time to hold back. And I'll meet you there. Have a beautiful week. I love you. Goodbye. I don't know how to turn this off. That's so weird. No way to turn this off tonight. Hmm. I guess there's no more to say. So, Lisa, Deirdre, Rachel, An Angel. Oh, beautiful. Mr. Kevin, I see you. I love you guys. Good night. Oh, it's telling me if I leave that this won't save itself. So, I wonder why I can't change this or end this. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Good. Turned your Facebook on. Who is there with you? I'm sitting in the dark, Kevin. I have moths and water and horses and just beautiful stuff happening here. And I don't know why my computer is acting up and I cannot end the live. Huh. What what is it that's happening that I don't know about right now? Come on, come on. Where's the done button? Because I'm done. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what's going on. Kevin, who's here with me that 